It's a bit stormy in the UK at the moment. I'll tell you what, it's a bit stormy with Manchester United. And I'm not just talking about the football. If anything, it's got really nothing to do with the football. This week, so much has been said. So many different stories. Rashford and Maguire coming out and saying the stories aren't true. Will Maguire get the captaincy taken away from him? There are so many questions going into this game against the Leeds at Ellen Road. Probably one of the... Up there with Anfield, those two are the most hostile atmospheres for Manchester United to go into. And we all know that if we play against Leeds in the first half like we did against Brighton, we're going to get steamrolled. But I'm going to run through what my predicted 11 is for the game. We're going to run through the early team news, going to run through the uh, Leeds recent form, the head-to-heads in the last few games between United and everything ahead of the game. So please, if you would consider subscribing by the end of the video, go down there, hit that subscribe button. As well as that, hit that notification bell. You get a ping every time I go live with a video. But let's talk about this game against Leeds coming up. Now, a couple of injury boosts going into the game. And that's Rafa Varane and Edison Cavani. Varane obviously pulled up, uh, pulled out of the game, sorry, against Brighton in the warm-up. Uh, stomach bug. Don't know. Must have just had the shits after eating, uh, after eating a meal at the hotel. He missed the game. And Cavani's missed the last couple of games. So to have him back, we need that. Ronaldo, uh, he might have scored against Brighton, but Ronaldo right now, he's 37, man. We know. He has to be managed like Zidane managed him at Real Madrid, taken out of some games and used in other games. I want to use him here at Leeds, but in an ideal world, we would have rested him at home against Brighton and still got the result. We need to do that if we're going to get the most out of him in the Champions League knockout stages, which is where we need him the most, and we all absolutely know that. But going into this game against Leeds, if you take a look at their recent form... You've got to say United are absolutely favourites. Look at the last couple of games. Beaten by Frank Lampard's Everton at Goodison Park 3-0. Lost against, or drew against Villa the week before. Then they lost at home against Newcastle. All right? Manchester United have to be going into this game with real, real confidence. Uh, but the thing is this, right? If you go down to the head-to-head -head matches that we've had between us, we've steamrolled them at home twice. 5-1 and 6-2. Lee, uh, Bielsa's Leeds were basically the, the ideal opponents for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, weren't they? Um, they always left space, they were open, and we just exposed it. But that game there in between, very, very different. That's where we saw Leeds actually use a different style of football, where Bielsa actually basically admit it. We didn't admit, but you saw it with, the, with how they played. It was like, oh, maybe we can't just go gung-ho every single game. So who is going to start in this game against Leeds? Because as I said, if we see anything like we saw in the first half against Brighton and we do that against Leeds, we're going to get turned over. This was the starting 11 that we had there against um, Brighton. Uh, now, of course, this is going to change, I think, anyway. Harry Maguire. Do you think that Harry Maguire will start this game? Yes or no? Please let me know in the comments below. I actually think he will. I think what we'll see is Rafa Varane come in, but I think he's going to come in for Lindelof. Do I think that's the right thing to do? No, I don't think so. I think I would be much more comfortable as a Manchester United fan if we had Varane and Lindelof there. But I think it just strikes me that uh, Ralph is going to stick by his captain. Maybe this will be the last big opportunity that uh, Maguire gets to impress. Because so much has been said about whether or not he should lose the captaincy, whether or not he should go to Ronaldo this week, whether or not he should be dropped. And... He's been protected by Ragnik, and I'll be honest, it was a decent enough performance against Brighton. It wasn't an incredible performance, but it was the sort of performance you would expect of a good centre-back. That's how he played. Can he do it against Leeds? It's going to be a lot more intense, a lot faster, a lot more hostile, and he's going to get booed. He's going to get jibed by the Leeds fans, and if, if he's crumbling under a pressure, it's going to be a seriously pressure, big pressure situation for Harry Maguire to deal with there. I don't particularly think he's going to make other changes. I think Delow will keep his spot, and I think Shaw will keep his spot. Um, Shaw has been really poor, I would say, defensively in the last few games. He'd always offer something going forward, but he just needs to be smarter, needs to be on the ball. And Rafinha is like one of the informed players in the league right now, isn't he? Uh, everyone's talking about him. I think he plays right wing for Leeds. Might be wrong, might be right. Anyway, United are going to have to be on point. Despite the fact that Leeds have, you know, they've got, put, as I said, if we, go, if we go back and we look at Leeds' recent results, if we go back and say, look, okay, they've lost their last game 3-0 against Everton. They drew, they conceded six goals in the last two games. Manchester United had to be looking to score goals here and creating chances hasn't been the issue. But I think that's going to be the back five. And before I do head in to speak about the midfield, let me please give a quick shout out to our sponsor. You know what time it is. It's time for me to big up One Football, who are supporting United People's TV and have been one of the biggest supporters of United People's TV over the years. 
this is me saying please go and download the app there is a link in the description it's free it literally is a one-stop shop app go on there for all the latest manchester united news transfer news all the build up to the game as well as this video of course uh but yeah make sure you head over there follow the link in the description do me a favor help you not people's tv out by helping out one football everybody wins but let's get back and let's talk about the midfield big up to one football but look let's talk about the midfield and if we're looking at how manchester united lined up against brighton fred came in for pogba i thought that was um pogba can feel a little bit aggrieved about that but that was a decision by ralph ragnick now as the game went on we all saw how poor fred was but if I'm being completely honest, I absolutely expect both Fred and McTominay to start this game. I actually think this is a sort of game that suits McTominay and Fred, that will work a bit better with McTominay and Fred. When you're at home against Brighton, you shouldn't be having two holding midfielders. You should be going out and trying to steamroll them. When you're away at Ellen Road, it's going to be a very hostile atmosphere. The first 15, 20 minutes in these sorts of games, you have to try and get as much control as possible. And that's why I think he will keep Fred. Now, now you can argue whether or not it was McTominay playing as a holding midfielder with Fred and Bruno as two number eights. I don't really think that was the case against Brighton. I don't really think... I mean, it could be the case here. Fred will certainly be tasked with bringing the ball a bit forward. And McTominay, he's going to have to have a cracking game there. I still have so many concerns about McTominay, but Matic is out with like some sort of shin injury. So there's not really a conversation to be had. Scott McTominay will start that game. Bruno Fernandes will start that game. It's whether or not you think Fred will start or whether you think Pogba will start. In my opinion, I think he's going to stick with Fred. I don't think that's the necessarily the utterly correct thing to do in terms of the creativity that Pogba brings into the team. But in terms of the, the intensity of this, that this game should be played at from the first whistle, I would probably prefer to see Fred for the first 50, 55 minutes and then bring Paul Pogba on for 40 minutes when we need to get a proper element of control as the game gets into the business end of it. If I'm going to see if I'm going to have Popper to start and Fred to come on or Fred to start and Popper come on. I would personally rather have Fred to start and Popper to come on when when needs his legs have tired a little bit. In terms of who's going to start on the wings, I'd absolutely I keep this the same as well. I would keep he is our guy right now, isn't he? Sancho's been really really exciting, thrilling to watch recently. And the sort of Sancho that I think we all thought we were ex expecting to see straight away at Manchester United. He's taken a lot he's taken longer than most people expected to settle in but when it comes to players moving between leagues, moving countries, they can always take a, a, a settling in period. And as I said, I think what happened with England and that penalty played on Sancho's mind a bit more than most people actually gave it credit. So I think we'll see Sancho and Elanga start. And what we're going to need to see here is Elanga tucking in. Elanga really helped. This is going to, this is going to be a game where United do focus on the counter-attack because you're playing away at Leeds. It's not going to be a game where United dominate the possession like we did in the second half against Brighton, but the, you know that, that red card certainly helped us. But Manchester United have to be better in that first 45. We have to have the control, because if we let Leeds come on to us and we let them control the game, we're going to really, really struggle. We're going to find Ronaldo very isolated up here. We're going to start knocking long balls into that area. Ronaldo trying to knock it down for someone, and we're going to keep losing possession. We all know we don't have that midfielder right here at the moment, that can sort of control and dictate the dictate the play. So it's probably going to be down to Bruno to really link the two. Uh, and that's when Bruno can either be fantastic or the king of chaos. We all know that so often under Solskjaer, he dr drifted up and became like a supporting striker and left this um, huge space in behind that was always exposed. Bruno just has to be smart. Has to be smart. As I said, I don't know whether it's going to... On paper, it will probably be this, right? It will probably be Scott McTominay as the number six with Fred and uh, Bruno as the two number eights with Ilanga, Sancho and Ronaldo playing a little bit higher. But in reality, I think you're probably going to see Fred and McTominay play on a, quite a horizontal line together with Bruno in front of them. That's the way I presume it's going to go. I might be wrong, but we'll see. And as I said, you can have an argument and a conversation if you want about Paul Pogba and whether or not you think he should start that game. But as I said, I think I'd rather have Paul Pogba coming on for the last 40 then start this game because I think the first 20 minutes, half an hour, if it goes how it should go against Leeds at Eden Road, it should be hostile. It should be intense. They should be coming on to us and giving us zero space on the ball. So the first 15, 20 are just all about not conceding, trying to quash the Eden Road atmosphere and then get into the game. It's a 90 minute game. It's not a 15 minute game. We know that. And Cristiano Ronaldo, I don't really know what to say about him. He. When he's good, he's great. 
where, where when the game's passing him by and he's, he's he's disconnected from the game, he gets very frustrated. So often we've seen from Cristiano Ronaldo him dropping over here to get the ball. I've seen him on the edge of his own bloody half trying to get the ball everywhere. If he gets isolated, he gets frustrated and he drops much deeper. And then we've got no outlet. Even if we win the ball, we don't have a striker to go and finish the chances. I don't think he'll start Cavani. Or maybe he will. I don't know. I don't think he will. Not after Ronaldo got back, in the, back him on the goals against Brighton. I think he'll start this game and I think he should start this game. This should be a pretty damn good game for the neutral. I'm not sure it'll be that much of an enjoyable game for Manchester United fans. As I said, looking at Leeds' recent form, they conceded six in the last two games. If we create how we created against Burnley, Southampton and Borough, we'll be fine. If we play like we did against Brighton in the first half, we're going to get... It's going to be a very difficult game. I, I, and I hesitate to say it's probably going to be more towards Brighton because we've got Fred there instead of Pogba because he's going to be brought in there to give us more of a midfield presence. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I'm going to enjoy this game. I don't think you're going to enjoy this game. I'm not sure if we're going to win this game either. But basically what we need to try and do is get Sancho in behind Leeds' defence. We know they're going to try and play on the front foot. That's how Leeds play. If they play on the front foot and Sancho has a space in behind, Ronaldo's got to be there for those square balls because they, there will be opportunities like that against Leeds. But that is my predicted 11 for the game. I think the only change is going to be Rafa Varane coming in for Lindelof. I think the rest is pretty much going to be the same. You could see Rashford start, absolutely, instead of Alanga. You let me know what you think about that in the comments below. But that's my predicted 11. That's my thoughts ahead of a game against Leeds where we need to get the result. Because everything that's going on with Manchester United right now, the only thing that can quash that and quell that is results. All right? So United need to get the win especially ahead of Atletico Madrid next week. As I said at the start of the video, please, if you would consider subscribing to United People's TV, just head down there, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, bing, right? You get a ping every time I go live. But thank you very much for tuning in. And let me, let me know in the comments what you think about this Leeds game.